What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a shooter game in Scratch. Now this is part 2 of a series, so if you missed part 1, check the top right corner of your screen and you'll see a little info card with part 1. Part 2 will include multiple waves, multiple guns, and much more. Anyway, let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to variables, rename the variable ammo to ammo1, make a new variable, call this ammo2. Once you have renamed your variables, what you want to do is you want to go to the player sprite, what you want to do then is go to this one green flag clicked, small loop block, get rid of the set ammo to 16 in there, go to looks, grab a hide block, and replace that set ammo to 16 with a hide block. Next thing you want to do with this script is go to control, wait 3 seconds, put this on top of the entire script, looks, show, put this under the wait 3 seconds, and then what you want to do is you want to take out the hide variable live from the bottom, go to events, make a new message, call this wave underscore 1. Then what you want to do is you want to take off the one green flag clicked, throw that in the trash, and put the when I receive wave 1 onto the script. Finally, what you want to do is you want to go to when I receive, make a new message, call this wave underscore 3, drag this out here, go to control, stop, change this to all other scripts in sprite, so this one. Then what you want to do is you want to go to hide in looks and drag that on there. And that is the finished editing for the player script. Next thing you want to do is go to the bullet sprite and rename it bullet underscore one. This will indicate that it's for wave one. And what you want to do then is go to the script with uh, the if ammo equals zero and with a if mouse down. And you want to drag the if ammo equals zero out of the script and you want to drag the point towards mouse pointer script out. So now you should have two different scripts dragged out just like this. What you want to do then is drag the if ammo equals zero back into the forever loop. And then what you want to do is you want to pull down this from the one green flag clicked. And what you want do is you want to go to control wait three seconds put this on top of everything and what you want to do then is you just want to go to events grab a when I receive changes to wave one so wave one and then what you want to do is you want to drag the one green flag clicked button into the trash and then for this script is kind of going to be a repeat of this so what you want to do is you want to drag out this script change the one green flag clicked to when I receive changes to wave one go to control wait three seconds basically we are going to add a play button and this three seconds is basically waiting the three seconds for the wave one screen to pop up and finally what you want to do is you want to grab this script that you dragged out and put it on top of the create clone of myself so you should end up with something like this and make sure everything in this script is ammo one now what you want to do is you want to go to events one group flag clicked variables set ammo one changes to 16 go to looks and grab a hide block, put that there. Then what you want to do is you want to go to events, when I receive, make a new message, call it wave underscore two, go to control, stop, other scripts and sprite, drag that on there, then you want to go to delete this clone. So this is basically saying when wave two happens, it's going to stop everything and delete all the bullets that are active. Now you want to go to the AI sprites, you see AI, name it AI underscore one, you see AI two, name it AI, to underscore one. This will indicate that's for wave one. And then we are going to edit this script. So what you want to do is you want to go to control, wait three seconds, put this on the very top, get rid of these set variables, lives, and just throw them all away. Then what you want to do is you want to go to wait, pick random, one to four seconds. You, you want to change this value to make it more challenging. And then what you want to do is you want to go to events, when I receive, change this to wave one, and put the wait three seconds hide there, then you want to put the forever loop on the bottom of that. So this should be your final edited script. Now what you want to do is you want to go to when I receive, change this to wave one, control, wait, 30 seconds and then what you want to do is you want to go to events broadcast changes to wave 2 and then what you want to do is you want to go to when I receive wave 2 stop down here all other scripts in sprite so this one and then what you want to do is you want to go to delete this clone so basically these scripts are defining when wave 2 happens and to delete all the zombies when wave 2 happens and now what you can do is you can drag this when I receive wave 1 loop into the AI 2 and you can drag this when I receive wave 2 loop into the AI 2. Then what you can do is you can delete this script at the bottom and you can just have these two scripts replace it. Now let's change the game over script. So one green flag clicked, get rid of the set ghost effect 200, just put a hide block there and you want to edit when I receive game over. 
So go to X0, Y0, you, you want to get rid of the site ghost effect to zero, go to front layer, that's okay. Then what you want to do is you want to go to variables, grab four hide variables. So these variables should be hide variable, killed, hide variable, lives, hide variable, ammo2. And then what you want to do is you want to drag these variables onto the game over script, drag the script up, then you want to grab the show, stop all at the very bottom. Now you're all done with editing all the sprites. Now time to add the play button, you win screen, and the wave 2 sprites. Next thing we're going to do is make the play button. Make new sprite. I'm going to quickly make just a box and it's going to say play. I will edit the art later. This is my simple play button. I will edit the art later and fix it up. Go to code. Go to events. One green flag clicked. Motion. Go to X, 0, Y, 0. Drag that onto there. Go to looks show go to front layer then what you want to do is you want to go to variables grab four high variable blocks so high variable grab four of those change one to ammo one change another one to ammo two change another one to killed and change another one to lives drag that onto there then what you want to do is you want to go to events when the sprite clicked grab a message block make a new message call the start underscore game drag that onto the when the sprite click block Go to variables, set changes to killed to zero, and set lives to three. Drag that on there, and finally go to looks, hide. And now you are done with your play button. Next thing you want to do is make a new sprite. This will be the wave one text sprite. So make a box. This will indicate that wave one is happening. Go to text. I'm just going to make brightness 100. Make the color white, and I'm going to write wave one, and I'll fix up the art later. And this is what I have right now. So basically, this wave one is going to pop up when you press start. It's going to say wave one, and then the game's going to start. But we need to code it so that can happen. So go to code, go to events, one green flag clicked, motion, go to X, zero, Y, zero, drag that on there. Go to looks, hide. Then what you want to do is you want to go to events, when I receive, changes to start game. Broadcast changes to wave one. Looks show go to front layer. Control wait three seconds. Looks hide. Variables grab three show variable blocks. Change one to ammo one, change one to kill, and change another one to lives. Finally, drag it on here. As you can see, if you test your game, now when you press play, a little wave one screen appears, and you can't move or shoot when it's appearing. And when it's done appearing, you can move and you can shoot, and the game starts. Next thing you want to do is duplicate your wave one sprite, call it wave two. And then what you want to do is you want to do, when I receive wave two, grab three hide variable blocks. So hide variable ammo one, hide variable killed, and hide variable lives. Drag that to the very top. Get rid of the broadcast wave one block. Drag the rest back on. And change show ammo one to show ammo two. So now if you tested your game, you would see that wave one lasts 30 seconds and then the wave two screen appears. Now let's make wave two. Duplicate your AI sprites. Duplicate your AI sprites and duplicate your bullet sprite. Change everything from if touching bullet one to if touching bullet two. And also make sure everything is wave two. So when I receive wave two, do this. And when I receive wave two, wait 30 seconds, then broadcast wave three. So then when I receive wave three, stop all other scripts and sprite and delete this clone. Finally, to make the game harder for wave two, change the pick random wait 0.5 to two seconds. Now in the AI2 underscore two, all you have to do is change bullet to if touching bullet two, and when I receive wave three, and when I receive wave two for here, wait 0.5 to two seconds. Now for the bullet, what you want to change is you want to change the if touching. So if touching AI2 underscore two, or if touching AI underscore two, Move 10 steps, delete this clone. If touching AI2, if touching AI2, grab the one green flag click sprite, set ammo 2 to changes to 30. Go to looks, grab a hide block, put this inside of the when I receive wave 2 on the very top, but change when I receive wave 2 to wave 3. Then what you want to do is you want to go down to these scripts, change set ammo 2 to 30. Then what you want to do is you want to change the wave 1 to wave 2 and drag all these ammo 1 blocks into ammo 2 blocks. Scroll down to the script, change it to when I receive wave 2, change the ammo 1 blocks out to ammo 2. And now we are going to change how the bullet works. 
So basically, for this bullet too, this is going to be an AK-47, for example. That's why the rounds are 30 bullets instead of 16. So for this sprite, all you want to do is just drag out the if mouse down, then block. Go to control, create clone of myself, put this under the go to player. Then go to control, grab a wait 0.1 seconds, drag that under the create clone of myself. Go to sound. Go to start sound, change this to wood tap, put this under the wait 0.1 seconds. Then finally, you want to go to variables, change, make sure this is ammo 2 by negative 1, put this under there. Once you're done with your bull underscore 2 sprite, you want to make a new sprite. This will be the U win sprite. So for example, I'm going to make some quick art, just going to put a box and it's going to say U win in the middle of it. For coding the U win sprite, all you want to do is just go to events, one green flag clicked looks hide then what you want to do is you want to go to when i receive wave three go to variables hide variable grab three of these set one to ammo two set one to killed set one to lives drag that on there go to looks go to front layer show and finally go to control stop all now if you test your game, it should be fully functional and working. Every 30 seconds, there's a new wave. I will fix up some art, and then I'll put on screen what I just made. Alright, I just fixed up some art, made a quick title screen, I'm gonna test this out. Wave 1, pistol. As you can see, I can't shoot during that wave 1 screen, but once it's gone, I can shoot and I can move. As you can see, when wave 1 is over, after 30 seconds, it says wave 2, AK-47. I can't move or shoot during that period. So if I hold down, as you can see, I have like an AK-47, and the zombies spawn a lot more quickly. I can see that my variable is working because I can see ammo 2 instead of ammo 1. As you can see, if I wait another 30 seconds, it says you win, and I can easily win the game. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.